Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another weekly vlog. Don't ask me what number it is, I think 14? I, I'll, I'll leave. <laughs> so nervous for no reason. I'm sorry. I shut the door and everything. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel and to weekly vlog number 14. I'm about to go and do a leg workout this morning. So I thought I'd bring you guys along with me and get my boyfriend to film it. So that's the plan. He's gonna put me through a good workout because he's actually a personal trainer. So yeah, let's go and work out. Okay, you can come in now. tortellini soup for dinner tonight. So step number one is to saute onions and garlic. And that's what I'm doing. <laughs> In today's episode of Idiot Sandwich in the Kitchen. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> it is, what day is today? Wednesday. And we are cooking. We're making tortellini soup for dinner because it's soup season. So right now I'm just sauteing some onions and garlic in the pot. I'm adding some pepper, salt, and I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning once I open this. It's freshly store-bought. That's step one. And then basically you just add in all the liquids in the tortellini and you're done. It's simple, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Guys, finished product. That looks so good. <laughs> five out of five. Delicious. So. Oh, yeah. Thank you, babe. No <laughs> Flashlight. <laughs> finished. 
product. It looks so good. Hello everyone, happy Thursday. I didn't update you guys much today, but I showed some montage clips. I went and got my nails done, thank God, because they were looking so bad. So this is, what's it called? Oh my God, Lisbon something. But it's literally like the perfect pink color. Like I feel like it's literally like the funny bunny and other one that people mix together, but just in one polish, like it's so nice. But anyways, it's like the evening now. I'm about to actually go to an F45 class in the evening. So we're doing an upper body lift this time, which should be good. I'll show you guys my out, <laughs> my outfit. So I'm just wearing this sports bra, which is Alphalete. And it's nice for upper body days because the back's open. And then these leggings are Gymshark OGs. Okay, these are like an OG style, Nike Metcons. And that's the plan. We're gonna go work out. And then I'm gonna make something for dinner. And I have a little event that I'm gonna pop into later this evening. It goes to 11 p.m. So I think I'm gonna show face quite late, like maybe like me 39, I don't know. It's gonna be a late show face for me, but I'm gonna go. And yeah, let's go work out. <laughs> Sorry, this angle is terrible. That's just as bad. Awesome. Okay. Hello. I am fixing myself up because I went to F45, as you guys saw. And now I have a little event that I'm going to go to this evening after dinner. I'm actually going to go to it quite late, as I told you guys. So I'm just planning to fix myself up a little bit. My hair is already slicked back pretty well, so I'm just gonna uh, do it in a bun instead of the ponytail to dress it up a bit more. So my main way to do a bun is to take, split your ponytail into two, twist them, and then wrap it up together. And hopefully you'll get a bun with not too many flyaways, which sometimes, I mean, then you can just try and, you know, tuck some pieces in, hope for the best, that it'll look okay. My boyfriend's still at work because he's closing tonight, so I'm going to attempt to make dinner as well in like 30-ish minutes. So we can eat together before I go to this event because I want to make sure I eat dinner. And I'm making Tuscany chicken, which is going to be really good. I'm really excited about it, so I can't wait. Okay, I'm just going to pin this bun into place. I'm just wearing a sweater with a skirt and I'm gonna wear knee-high boots to like dress it up. But I'm gonna slick this back again. But I'm gonna redo my makeup because my makeup is not looking good. I mean, I did just work out in it and I've been wearing it for hours. So you can imagine the state that I am currently in. Okay, let's see if the beauty blender can like salvage anything here. Cause I really don't feel like redoing my whole makeup because I'm just gonna wash it off in like two hours. So that's just not worth it to me at all. <laughs> so if the beauty blender just takes off some. But yeah, I'm excited for this event. It should be really cute. It's at La Pignon, or I think, which is like a French restaurant. So the food and appetizer should be delicious. I'm just gonna go have a cocktail, mingle for a little bit and then head on out. That's like the game plan. I'm just gonna use concealer to kind of like touch up anywhere and blend that out. I'm sorry for the noise, Millie's hyper. I'm getting a facial on Saturday, which I'm actually really excited about because I feel like I just desperately need one. I'm gonna get 
I just want the extractions, honestly. I have so many like clogged pores and stuff and I feel like they just go in and extract everything. So I'm kind of excited for that, even though I'm gonna be looking rough after that facial. And then just chill on Saturday, I think. Me and my boyfriend are gonna go to the well because that's just like opened up in Toronto and it looks like a really cute area. So I'm kind of excited to check it out and see what it looks like. And they opened a new chapters there, which I'm really excited about. Though I've been like really bad at reading recently if i'm honest like i've just kind of been in a reading slump i beat my like reading goal that i had set for myself and then since then i've just been doing absolutely nothing i feel like when it comes to reading so there's a lot that can be done with that but i do want to have like a little look around i want to look at their christmas decorations because i'm really excited about christmas i'm gonna start decorating like next week i think guys and that'll be a whole vlog we will do a christmas decor vlog because all my stuff is at my parents place so I'm gonna literally have to go and get everything and bring it back. My dog is on crack. <laughs> Mele, why are you zooming everywhere? I know you're hyper, but this is not the time. Okay, I'm gonna contour my nose again. No, Millie. I was gonna redo everything because it looks like it's all just removed from my face. Millie, stop it. Millie, you stop. Mm. I thought she was growling on a dog, but she's growling for my attention right now. No, I can't chase you. You have to drop it. Drop it. I'll throw it. Drop it. Drop it. Okay. okay. I'm going to show you guys the finished result once I'm all done up. And then we'll make the Tuscan chicken together. It's also called Marry Me Chickens. Apparently it's that good. I'm sorry for the sound effects. Millie, man. Unnecessary, baby. All right, guys, here's the finished outfit. So the jacket is Zara. This is Zara. This is Aritzia. And then I'm wearing my boots, which are um, Steve Madden, and then my purse, and that is my outfit. Let's go to the event. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday, TGIF. I was up super early this morning. I actually filmed a little campaign. So I shot that, worked out, etc. showered, blue dry my, blue dry my hair. That's definitely not a word, blow dried my hair. And I'm actually about to go meet my boyfriend because he just finished work. So I'm gonna go meet up with him. And I think we're gonna go to a little convenience store around here that sells some Irish sweets and crisps. <laughs> Look at me, Irish stuff. Um, so we're gonna get like some chips and candy and stuff like that because we're actually finishing. We're watching like the finale of this show that we've started watching today. So we thought we would get some Irish streets to watch it because it's an Irish TV show. So that's the plan. But I'd bring you guys along a bit of today as well to like end off this little weekly vlog of what I've done kind of, though it's not been that eventful, I feel like, but you know, what can you do? My hair is super smooth. I got the Color Wow Dream Coat for my hair and oh my God, guys, I blow dried my hair. It is so smooth. I know you can't really tell because it's tucked in to my coat right now because it's super cold out. Let me check the weather. It says it's 10 degrees. I feel like that's a lie because this morning it was freezing. So it feels like seven. Maybe I'm being a bit dramatic. Do I need earmuffs in 10 degree weather? Probably not. <laughs> but I was really cold this morning. I don't know. I guess maybe it's warmed up. Okay, we'll ditch the earmuffs because the last thing I'd want is to have earmuffs if I don't need them. So we're gonna head out, meet up with him, take Millie, obviously, because she's getting her little walk in. I'm wearing the most casual outfit ever. I'm just wearing jeans and a puffer and I'm gonna wear my boots. I get so many questions on these boots. I love these. They're just by Sam Edelman and they're super comfortable. So I'm gonna wear these as well. This puffer too, best purchase, okay? I wear this so freaking much. It's the Aritzia Super Puff Shorty. I love this version because it comes right to like your hip. So I just feel like it's super flattering. I like wearing it too, like with my athletic wear and stuff, like leggings and stuff when I'm going to the gym. I just think it's such a good, little ugh, 
cute jacket and it's so warm. It's just classic, you know? Oh, yeah, this is the OOTD. Is my fly down? Why did I think it was down? It's not. Oh my God, I just tripped out. I thought my fly was down for sure. These are the Abercrombie wide leg jeans. They're so flattering, guys. Like I wanna get another wash in these. These ones are the ones with the trouser pockets in the front and like a dark wash, but they're so flattering on your booty. They like hug your butt and thighs and then kind of go out from just above the knee. I just think they're so flattering. I have actually gained a bit of weight in the last month. Happy weight, you know? You're in, when you're happy, you just eat good food and you may gain a little weight. So I've gained like seven pounds, I think. So, but we're fine. I'm happy with it. Honestly, my clothes are fitting better. My jeans are looking good. The booty is looking good. I'm happy, okay? Happy weight. We're here for it. Anyways, I'm gonna head out pretty soon. And yeah, hello. It is later. Going to a little Uncle Studios fall pop-up that they're having on Ossington. They made like a little convenience store and they're having like a little, I said little like five times. They're having a thing, basically. I think there's gonna be drinks. And apparently entertainment, which I'm interested in what entertainment they'll have, but off we go. Happy Sunday, we are at the zoo today, the Toronto Zoo, and I'm gonna bring you guys along with us as we explore the zoo. I haven't been here in years, and I'm honestly quite excited, and it's sunny. It's freezing, but sunny, so we're gonna have a great day. Yeah. Yeah, are we running or walking? Oh, <laughs> that's my pace. <laughs> what? Oh. Great. <laughs> no. Tragic. <laughs> That's awkward. We should leave. <laughs> Look how big it is. It's massive, isn't it? That was in the kilometers, yeah. Yeah. What if you got told to wait in there? For your whole life. <laughs> no! Stop. <laughs> I'm outraged. No, I know, I agree. That's why they pace, they don't like it in there. There's, you know how much like, ground they cover in the wild? Huge amount. Yeah, but more than I could tell, that's your life now. Just finished the Africa area. There wasn't really much going on, to be honest, because I think most of them, it's too cold out. But we're going to Canada now. <laughs> the Canada domain, basically just to see the bear. And probably won't be able to see a bald eagle. But they have bald eagles too. Bears, bald eagles, raccoons. Raccoons. <laughs> As if we don't actually see those in real life, but raccoons. And what else is there? Maybe that's wolves. it, that's it, no, that's it. That's it? Yeah. I only named three things, didn't I? I wasn't listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. What else is new? <laughs> and yeah, off we go. And then we're gonna get lunch because we're starving and literally everything is closed. I mean, I don't know why I thought everything was gonna be open. What the? See, we should have got a... I'm gonna get run over. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a smart move, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I wish they were up close. Then you could see that they're massive. They kind of smell. <laughs> Do they smell? Yeah. That's me. No. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> Go on, girl. We're off to the tundra. Which means what? That's where the, the cold animals are. Cool. Let's go. <laughs> These alligators are crocodiles. Alligators. Who? Who's say? No. I think they're alligators. I don't know. Oh, there's turtles in there with them, babe. Oh, they don't eat each other, do they? No. They're so cute. I want to see if there's any free flight birds in here. Oh, is it? I see nothing in there. Oh, no, I don't. There's little fish with legs, it looks Where? like. Look at them. Oh, yeah. They're just laying down. Oh, you just said they're little fish with legs. <laughs> Get out of here. Think about what you just said. I know. Let's, oh, okay. let's move past it and pretend I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> they're so cool. Aren't they? Look at that one. I love their fin, how they move. It's proper elegant, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Proper elegant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ticket. so other than getting ripped off for parking, what's your takeaway from Toronto Zoo? Um, I thought it was really cool and it also made me really sad. I have mixed feelings. <laughs> Great. Do you agree? I agree. Yeah.